happen. <laughs> it's been rocked, y'all. doing welcome to my channel it's your girl jasmine janae and i'm coming here with a quick video just a little update on how my year is going <laughs> it's been rocky y'all seven days into the year and i'm gonna say it's been a rocky one a girl has been sick i'm this i'm finally in a mood of somewhat feeling better when i say somewhat feeling better it's because as you can hear in my voice i'm still stuffy um my smell is a little off or whatnot um i still got this lingering cough that's just like sound like i'm about to cough, cough up my insides or something you know um but yeah my my start of the year has been rocky the thing is i just started uh renovations on my bathroom which is a hot mess like the bathroom is coming together great that's not a hot mess but the 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 dust and stuff like that i didn't think to take my clothes out my closet and it got on my clothes so now i'm having to literally wash every piece of clothing item that i have that was in that closet do you know i'm about to end up so far i'm on the third load of laundry and i probably have about three to four more loads to go talking to a person who don't like doing laundry i don't like to do laundry because i don't like folding the clothes Great thing is most of the stuff is was hanging. Um, so I don't necessarily have to fold these clothes besides my jeans and stuff like that. I mostly will have to hang it. So I got to go through and clean all the hangers. Cause got velvet hangers at that because of like the dust and stuff that was from him doing all the stuff he was doing in it. I don't know why me and him both didn't think of like he probably thought I had already thought of it and did it anyways, but I don't know why I didn't think to take my stuff out my closet. I don't know why, but yeah, I made a boo-boo with that. I haven't been able to sleep in my bed because of all the stuff all over the place in there. Um, Cause I'm doing my, the main bathroom or the master bathroom, I guess you would say. And I had to sleep on the couch because I realized, I'm just pretty much giving y'all an update on my life. If you haven't figured out already, I just shut right into this. <laughs> um, I realized in my guest ba bedroom or whatever, for the longest, I did not have a bed in there because I was like, I don't have no guests. I don't want nobody to come stay with me. <laughs> and then last year when I had went um, to visit a friend, some friends in Chicago or whatever, and I, I really love the hospitality and the their ability to be like, hey, if you want to stay here and not get a hotel room, you're more than welcome to. So that option that they was able to do that, I was like, I want to be that person. Like, Jasmine, no, I don't want nobody who always want to come stay with me. No, I don't necessarily want that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. I'm just not that person. I'm just not that person. But I do want the option of if a friend wanted to come visit or was in town passing through and they didn't want to get a hotel room, I want it to be comfortable enough where they can stay a night or two or whatever like that. So I went out and got like a full size bed off of Amazon. Got this mattress from the local mattress store. I literally went in the mattress store and was like, give me your cheapest mattress. That's what I said. And that's what she did. And I went to go lay on that mattress and I was like, yeah, I see. I really did get the cheapest mattress because this is not comfortable. This is not comfortable. And I was like, nah, I, mean, I can't. It'll do for right now, but I'm going to have to do something differently because even though I don't, I wouldn't have guests often, if I did have guests, I don't want nobody sleeping on that mess because that's what it feel like, mess. Like, it's just not comfortable whatsoever. Maybe I get a pillow top or something to go on top of it meanwhile, but it just wasn't comfortable. So I've been sleeping on the couch the last few nights or whatnot, and I probably will be sleeping on the couch for like, next few days until he's finished with my bathroom and until I can actually go through and deep clean everything, get all the dust and all the stuff that flying in the air and landing on the stuff or whatnot and clean up my house or whatnot. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's that on that. Um, let me see what else. So since I've been sick, um, good thing is go always look at the bright side of things. I haven't been overeating. Um, so that's, that's been a good thing because I am on the diet and I am on a journey of losing 20 pounds by April. I am, I started off at 215. I am down, last time I weighed myself, I think I was down to 212. 
Um, granted, we know that that could fluctuate. That could probably be water weight. That could be, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I can't say for sure I lost three pounds or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I at least lost one. If nothing else, I'm pretty sure I lost one. Um, <laughs> so I'm, <coughs> I'm happy with that. Um, what's another bright side? Just having time to just really relax and you know reflect on life i did have to take time off of work well i missed one and one and a half days or whatnot so that kind of you know would affect my money but i thank god that i'm in, in a position where it doesn't cause me to go lack on my bills um yes it go it you know takes away from possibly you know putting that extra money towards you know my debt or whatnot but nonetheless I, i'm still very oh i beat my job I'm still very, very much grateful uh, with the bathroom renovation and whatnot. I, I am like pretty much doing my bathroom for hopefully under $2,000. I know I said hopefully under $2,000 because me and the guy really didn't even discuss how much he's going to charge me. So pretty much what I'm doing to my bathroom, we put like tile above the, um, the tub, shower or whatnot. Um, I changed out the floors. I have a very small bathroom um put towels we got the towels on the floor i changed out the vanity even though i got a smaller vanity than what was already there but changed out the vanity changed out the mirror changed out the lights and stuff like that um painting and stuff like that so with the material or whatever everything i got i think i at lowe's i ended up spending a little over 500 dollars well, I should probably should say a little less than six hundred dollars. So we we'll round it up, say six hundred dollars there. And I spent about two thousand two. Oh, gee, no, I did not. It's been about like two something in Amazon from some fixtures and stuff like that I got from there. So around that, probably with materials thus far, I spent about eight hundred dollars. Things that are still left to get uh, would end up being, you know, maybe some decor pieces, some more decor pieces, um, like some new mat, shower curtains, and stuff like that. So I'll probably spend another $100 or so with that. Um, so I think total, I'll probably end up material and everything that I would end up needing or whatnot. Probably be end up being like a total, like $1,000, um, a little less than $1,000. So the guy that does the work for me, he's pretty reasonable. So I can't imagine him hitting me in the head too crazy. Or whatnot so i i really think that i will be able to re completely redo my bathroom for less than two thousand dollars which is amazing because thus far from what i see um i love it you know I'm, i really like it i can really see the difference um and it seems to be coming together um so i'm super super duper excited about that i definitely will share that with you all because i do feel like you know, I feel like I, I like a little bit more. I like to watch relatable content. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody get on here with these luxury houses, these brand new houses and stuff like that. Like, girl, got an old house. Like, so small little tiny house, three bedrooms, two baths, but small house or whatnot. Small bathroom. It's no luxury nothing or anything like that. So, but it it's mine. You know what I'm saying? And to make it my own and to be able to do different things to it, I, I absolutely love that you know i'm definitely thankful and very blessed to be able to do those things um yeah so that's that on that pretty much that's how my year has been going that's the that's the highlight of my year thus far is to get the work finally done in my bathroom um because i've been wanting to do that for the longest the next thing i'm gonna do is my kitchen uh, which the only thing I want to do in my kitchen is change out the cabinet doors, um, do backsplash, and change out the flooring as well. Be excited about being able to do that. Um, yeah, and with me doing these things, it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to slow down on probably like traveling because right now, which one is more important to me? I, I'd rather get my house how I want my house um, than to put the money on vacation right now. Um, so that's, that's that on that. Other than that, like, at first I was going to come out here and be like, oh, this year has been just so horrible. Because let me sit. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I had moments. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I had some moments. I was in here crying. Boo-hoo, baby. Like, oh, my God. Like, what? I'm in sick. Like, what's wrong with my immune system? Like, what's going on? Like, what? what? I be taking my vitamins. God, I be taking them. Like, oh. 
And I was like, pull it together because guess what? You still among the living. I'm still here. You see this video? <laughs> Girl, it's still here. I, I pray for this baby, okay? I am still here, still I stand. Call in my chest and everything. <coughs> Crazy cough, everything. But guess what? By the grace of God, I am still here. And somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody just literally took their last breath at this very moment. So by the grace of God, I am still here. So I will not, I will not complain, okay? I will not complain. I'm just going to do what I have to do. Uh, get myself better, you know, work to pay for this stuff that I'm out here doing to my house <laughs> and all the other stuff. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to update you guys on that, let you know how my year is going. So thus far, you know, since I have been sick, I haven't been going to the gym. I haven't been working out at home. Um, I should have been moving around more. It probably would have made me better faster if I would have moved around versus just sleeping the whole entire time and whatnot. Speaking of how I got sick, I'm really thinking I got sick from the gym. Because this man had this nasty cough and he coughed. Like, really, right when he coughed, I walked right into it. Like, literally. And he did not cover his mouth whatsoever. Like, I walked right into it. And I was, like, so disgusted. The I know you're like, how did you walk right into it? Because, like, he was on, like, the um, um, machine. It was, like, I think it was bicycle or something like that. And they have, like, the little the um, paper towel thingy thing right here on the wall. So I'm walking to go get the paper towel to wipe walk, walk off the equipment, wipe off the equipment, and he's right here. So as I'm coming up, he coughs. And he, when he coughs, like, it's like I walk right into the air of that cough. And it was a nasty cough. So I'm pretty sure that's that that was the moment. That girl got sick, and my niece was with me. We were riding car together, and she ended up having a flu. So yeah, what, what, yeah, sounds like that's probably how we got sick. So yeah, when you sick like that, do not go to the gym. You want to work out? Go run around your block or something. Go, go, run, do something in your neighborhood. Do something at your house. Don't take your nasty butt to the gym because we do not want your germs. Okay? Because I'm pretty sure. That's how I got sick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of it. Um, anyways, y'all, that's enough of that. How has your year been? Um, I know a lot of other crazy stuff has been happening, y'all. Um, on social media, all these things is happening. I would love to talk about it. Maybe this week, Wednesday or Thursday, maybe I go live. We can talk about it. Let's Let's discuss it. Um, which day should I go live? Wednesday or Thursday? Which one works best for y'all? What time? You know, let, let your girl know. But anyways, I'm about to wrap this up because I need to go stuff my face and get settled in. So until next time, you know what it is. It's peace, it's love, and a whole bunch of blessings out here. And if you support your girl, make sure you thumbs up. Okay? Until next time. Mwah.